Hi, I'm the Grow Boss. I write the Grow Book and Equipment Guide. And in this video, I specifically want to address why I say it takes 400 watts to grow marijuana. Because I get a lot of comments in the from the videos about you guys grow with 100 watt this or 150 watt that or that. All sorts of stuff. But I own a hydro store. And when people come to me for advice, they want to know how to be successful. They don't want to be the guy that comes in my store and is experimenting with something or that they read something online. These are grown ass adults. They're not children trying to get one over on the system. These are people that want an intelligent plan. So I'm going to explain to you why I tell these people that 400 watts is the minimum amount of light that you can grow if you want to use, if you want to successfully grow marijuana. Now, you already know that I tell you, you're gonna get a half pound from a 400 watt light. You're gonna get a pound from a 600, and a pound and a half from a 1,000. And if you only have one light, you'll get a harvest every 90 days. And if you have two lights, you'll get a harvest every 60 days. And if you have a three light rotation, that you'll get a harvest every 30 days. Of course, if they're 600 watts, you get a pound every 30 days. If they're 1,000 watts, you get a pound and a half every 30 days. <coughs> But my observation is that yield is based on light. So people come to me because they want to grow. They want marijuana, they want to be successful, and they do not want to experiment or end up with their equipment in my used pile of equipment shit. So, what I tell them is this. Marijuana is weed. It grows at a rate of about 35 watts a week if you allow it to fully express itself. Can it grow on less? Sure. You can starve a person on less calories, but make no mistake that the light is the calories. And that marijuana is a 12 week process, about four weeks in veg and about eight weeks in flour. So we say it's about 10 weeks long with a little bit of a finish at the end. But growing marijuana is like a 10 week, 12 week process. <clears throat> so if light's the energy and marijuana grows at a rate of 35 watts a week on average in media, then in 10 weeks you're at 350 watts plus the two week finish a little extra light for the two week finish and you got 400 watts worth of light and it's t5 light so it's not even really hot and if you think about marijuana in terms of how much it takes to grow that half pound with a 400 watt light it's a tent this big it's two by four two feet deep because you have to grow a pound and a half wet to get a half pound dry. And it's a three by five if you wanna grow a pound dry or a pound and a half wet. And it's a five by five if you wanna grow four and a half pounds wet or one and a half pounds dry with a thousand watt light. You really can't put a thousand watt light in a space like this and expect that yield. So we're talking about space and yield and watts and time. And if you're in hydro, and hydro happens even faster than soil, then the plant would grow at 50 watts a week. And if it's a 10 week process, then you're at 500 watts at week 10. Or why I tell you hydro is 600 watts a week. And I know you can tell me that you can do it with less and you might, but statistically, if you're looking to be successful, crop after crop after crop, it's not the same thing as coming to my store, spending a bunch of shit, getting bud once, and 30 years later, you'd be the guy that comes back to my store with the shorts all cut off too short, trying to buy a new system, because 30 years ago he was successful. I get that dude every month, and it's ridiculous. He's like 55 years old, and he tells me about what happened back in the 70s. If you, the people that come to my store that ask me how to grow, they want to know how to yield. They don't want to know how to game the system. They don't want to beat anything. They're sick. They want Rick Simpson oil. They, they don't even smoke. They're doing it for a family member that is sick. These are people that need to yield. And so when we talk about size and space and shape, if truly 400 watts is the minimum amount, then if you have a 125 compact fluorescent and you leave those comments on my videos all the time, oh man, I grew up 125 watt fluorescent, 150 watt LED, and I got some. And again, you may have got some, but I don't consider that successful. I don't consider that successful because you ran your 2500 watt air conditioner to get almost no yield. And if 400 watts fills up this with T5, compact fluorescents are not as bright as T5. So it would take 600 watt of compact fluorescent to equal this. 
Also, if this is a 10 week process and the cuttings start like this and they end up, you've seen the pictures of buds, you have to fill up a tent like this to get a half pound, then when we talk about a computer like this on eBay, this is 125 watts worth of light. If plants grow at 35 watts a week, this is almost four weeks, you're not even done vegging, and it's gonna be the spindly, sick, thin, purpling piece of shit plant that's never going to produce the weight you want. And that's four weeks. If this is a 10 week process, and that piece of shit is $399 on eBay, can you see why I laugh at you in your, in your comments for my videos when you talk about this? Because as soon as you tell me that you have less than 400 watts, or that you're experimenting, or that you're trying something new because you read something online, or you're trying 18 hours and 6 hours and 20 hours and 24 hours and you got eggshells in the media because of calcium, the shit that you come into my store with. It's spectacular what you come to my store with. But the reality is, the people that come to my store that want to grow need some very simple information. And this isn't about nutrients because yield is based on light. What you're looking for is an inexpensive nutrient that always works. Humboldt Nutrients, sell a lot of it in my store. Inexpensive, Master A and B won a cannabis cup. And it's inexpensive, you don't really have to look for anything past a one part or a two part, there's organic. But the nutrients merely move the light, the energy, the sugar that the plant creates from the light. The nutrients merely transport that around. So the back of all of the bottles of nutrients on the shelves in hydro stores are based on 1000 watt, happy healthy grows. So if you have a 400 watt light, you would have to cut that number by a third just to start. Which is why I tell you guys that if you have a 400 watt light, that's your finishing PPM. If you're in week one, you would be at 40 PPM. And is it perfect? No. But for the amount of failure that calls my helpline and comes to my store from using too many nutrients, you can say whatever you want, but the people that come to my store looking to be successful need some guidelines. 400 to 450 PPM does not matter. And if you've got a 400 watt light because you're growing in a closet, like one of those little like one foot deep, you know, seven foot cabinets that you created with some sort of whatever, the reality is 400 watt T5, if you can grow a pound and a half wet, you'll get a pound and a half dry. You start right there. And if I were to put three buds in front of you and ask you which one is a 400 watt light, which came from a six and which came from a thousand, you could not tell me. You could not tell me if that bud came from an LED like this Kine 750 behind me or this T5 like this nickel sitting next to me. What I'm trying to get at is, ready? If you just finish without any problems, that's 95% of the job. Because if you overwater, you put the light too close, and you overfeed, and you don't let the plant fully express itself, then none of this matters, right? So when I talk about size and space and shape and yield, and you have all these other opinions, notice I'm not telling you anything. I'm not selling you anything other than my book that reflects my opinions. What I want you to understand is that a plant in week 10 is not 10 times bigger than a plant in week one. It's 100 times bigger, two orders of magnitude bigger. That's when it grows like a weed. And you'll see that people will have their LEDs, will have little tiny uh, plants in their hydroton buckets in DWC, and they're this big, the leaves are tight, they're wrinkled between them because they're overwatering and they've got too much light because it's too intense and their plants are too small. This is a 10 week process. You cannot rush it. There is nothing in my store that accelerates the process. And even if it did, what would it accelerate it to? Seven weeks, four weeks? I mean, are you gonna cut the start to finish time down to three weeks with some product? So, once you take the magic and the mystique, and once you don't worry about I shot the sheriff because he took my seat, and once you understand that when I talk about success and yield, I'm talking about in 2016, <clears throat> where a lot of states, you can just go out and buy it and you don't have to buy any equipment. 
you can just go legally. There is no hiding it now. You can transport it across state lines. Nebraska suing Colorado for that. My point is that all you have to do is pick a yield. Find the light that matches it. An ounce a week, that's a 600 watt T5, a 600 watt LED. You want an ounce and a half a week? Get yourself a 400 watt veg and a 600 watt flower. I'm not selling anything. I'm merely telling you the math of the situation. So, you know, I'm defending my position about 400 watts. And if hydro grows faster, then the plant grows faster. It grows more, it doesn't necessarily finish faster. You get it yields based on light. So the plant grows faster, it gets bigger. But those are my points when I tell you guys that this is what I define as success. Someone that doesn't come in my store that's experimenting. Someone by the second grow, by the second grow, gets damn close to the yield that they should and it's no longer harsh. It's easy, there's a lot less time involved, there's a lot less care, you can leave them the fuck alone because it's a 10 week process. Nothing you do from now till this afternoon is gonna change anything, paycheck to paycheck. Now, when you have two gardens like this or three gardens, things will start to pick up and you'll be busier as time goes by. But if you only want an ounce a week, then here's a 400 watt T5 from Nickel City. That'll get you one and a half pounds dry or a half, one and a half pounds wet or a half pound dry every 90 days, which is almost an ounce a week. So if you got a 200 watt veg, you wouldn't need a tent this big because twice the light and flower requires twice the space. That's why we go from a 400 watt veg to a 600 watt flower like this. So if you had a 200 watt veg, you could do it in a smaller space. All I'm trying to do, again, is keep it in the rational zone where it's not taboo, it's not mystique, it's no longer illegal. We can talk about the reality that marijuana is an agricultural crop and nothing more. And in a moment, they'll be growing it outside in fields. They'll be rolling into cigarettes and we'll never know again who produces it. Anyway, I'm the grow boss. That's why I say it requires 400 watts worth of light to grow marijuana. If you think I'm wrong, you can post something in the comment section or better yet, write your own book. Make a video for yourself. If you're interested, you can buy my books though on thegrowboss.com. If you like the video, share it with a friend, click the like button, and remember, always shop local.